Okay, hey everybody, to another episode of On Point EDC. Today we have an awesome update for you by the brand Tactile Turn. A little bit about them. They were founded back in 2012 out of the good old US of A by Will Hodges. And the brand is basically obsessed with making things that will last a lifetime and they're even warranted to that point. These are all hand machined in Garland, Texas. Um, and uh, these are custom pens. Uh, some key characteristics in sign language. You're looking for a custom pen. You're going to want, of course, unique design language, some type of fun, fidgetable actuation, and premium materials and construction. Now, this is the slim side click, and I actually do have the original side click as well, just to kind of have there so you can understand how much slimmer the slim is versus the standard. Um, I don't think I ever did a full review on the standard side click, so this will be uh, a bit of a refresher um, for the channel, and uh, I'm excited to share these ones. Uh, basically, the slim side, side click is a slim down take on the original side click, but it's also a deeper carrying pocket clip. It, use, it also uses the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000 medium line width um, with black ink, and then um, depending on if you get kind of different variations and lengths, will kind of depend on um, which insert you'd be interested in. This is the, the short um, length, which I find to be the best for me anyway. Um, they basically will will have kind of a, a longer and a mini. This is kind of right there in the middle, and that's right where I prefer them, uh, right around five inches. Um, I think is still quite pocketable while still giving you enough length to where it doesn't feel like you're writing with a miniature pen. So with all that said, let's go ahead, zoom the camera out, get these pieces in hand, and take a closer look. All right, now before we dive in, on the wrist today, customary wristwatch check. Check this out. Seiko Astron GPS powered solar, solar powered GPS. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing this review with you guys. Ceramic bezel, um, you know, titanium construction with the hard coating, very angular, very modern. I mean, as many, you know, watches that I have that are vintage inspired, it's nice to get something within here um, that is really properly modern in every way. It gets GPS updates so you can actually have 100% accuracy on your time. And you can see that, hand, that seconds hand hits every mark. It's just remarkable. And then it also does have a really gorgeous brushed dial that really matches the brushing that's on the top side of that great uh, ceramic bezel. Also has um, a quick adjust clasp, which is toolless, which is amazing. So um, with that said, I wore this because, hey, it's all about innovation and titanium. So let's take a look at the standard and let's take a look at the slim. So I wouldn't consider the standard like fat by any means. Uh, I think it's one of the things that people really love about tactile turn pens is that they are just really, they feel very substantial and, you know, part of something feeling like it's, uh, it's quality. Um, sometimes it's also the heft and titanium isn't a hefty, uh, you know, material, it's quite light. So when you have something with some nice stock on it like this, it just feels really great in hand, but things can always be improved and slimmed down. And you can see also right there that it's gonna be a deeper carry on that pocket because it actually is gonna come up higher, which means it's gonna drop lower. So this isn't the first time that Tactile Turn has slimmed down one of their pens. They're most known for this guy right here, the bolt action. So um, there are tons of bolt action pens out there. Uh, for me, this is one of the kind of originators in terms of just being its own thing and, and doing it really, really well. Um, and uh, it's, it's an amazing pen that they still make today. Uh, but not too long ago, they slimmed it down and they made some changes. They went for a milled pocket clip. They slimmed down the barrel action is still amazing and it worked out it was a really really great update and combination so now you take something that is even more modern in terms of uh you know the side click profile here uh, giving you something a little bit you know a different type of fidget factor there <laughs> 
Um, it's really nice to see that, again, it's not just a slimmer version. They've evolved and improved the pocket clip as well. So very cool. Uh, but let's go ahead, get all those out of the way and just enjoy this piece right here. So these go for $99 direct. And again, they are made in, uh, you know, the USA right here. Um, I should say here, but uh, right locally in Texas, if you're in Texas, uh, which is awesome. So really very nice. I'm actually left-handed, um, although I'm half left-handed uh, because everything else I do is with my right hand. Um, I just happen to write and draw with my left hand. So just fun factoid, but that's why I wear my watch on the opposite wrist. But this pen, apart from it being super sleek, um, you know, it has those signature uh, machine lines here that you would expect from Tactile Turn. And that is because it gives you a great tactile feel. Your fingers just really lock in, uh, which is nice. And it's not overly harsh. It's not sharp. It's not annoying. It is something that uh, it just locks in and it just makes it feel very, very robust. I also like that they have multi-tone finishing here. You have more of a tumbled stone wash on the, uh, on the pocket clip and then also on the mechanism here on the pusher, you can see, and then also on the little side click. So side click pens, I mean, I'd say probably the most popular one you've ever heard of uh, would probably be like uh, the, the Fisher Space Pen. They do have a side click action um, or there's actually some very niche uh, Mitsubishi pens that are uh, pretty popular, which I believe this mechanism is uh, loosely inspired by. And it, they do an amazing job with it. Um, into some more of the details here, of course, completely solid um, and then it does have just a lot of fun with that mechanism the length here on here is 5.3 inches and then it's 9.3 millimeters thick and weighs about uh, 80 point uh, I'm sorry 0 0.82 ounces and that's in the titanium specifically in this length specifically in the pocket um, Definitely more discreet. It, it's going to carry a little bit deeper. And then, of course, um, you know, it, whether you carry it in your pant pocket or breast pocket or, you know, any other just a little compartment in a little EDC pouch, um, it's going to carry really well. I will say that this is a newer model and they did go through a couple of growing pains here and there, which they've already figured out in terms of, um, you know, anything that you've seen uh, when you dive into, uh, you know, some of the early customer reviews. So the nice thing is they already got to the root cause and, and have repaired uh, anything, at least that I've noticed on this model. Um, um, you know, uh, that could have uh, ailed them in terms of production. So really nice. Uh, and then of course it's one of the best things about these smaller brands is that they're always working and pushing to improve with every new iteration. So very, very nice. And you can see very confidence inspiring. You don't, I'm not babying this by any means. I can just keep that down and push it. It just works. And it should, and it's really well designed and really well executed. In terms of in hand, very smooth and balanced, great clicky action, of course, fun to fidget with. The thinner profile definitely um, gives you a, an in hand feeling a little bit closer to a traditional pen, uh, which is nice because it is a, a quite a bit thinner. Um, and it just feels right at home, I have to say. This is a pen that, um, you know, you could have at your desk if you're brave enough and not worried about anybody stealing it, um, that anybody could grab and use. It's very intuitive and, you know, they'd be able to figure it out. At the very least, they'd be able to click it, even if they can't retract it. Um, but I'm sure the button sticks out. So how can you not push a button that's there? Uh, versus, let's say something like the um, bolt action here. You know, somebody might see this and be a little confused and <laughs> not really know. Um, I think it's very intuitive, but, you know, that's also because I enjoy 
stuff like that in terms of bolt action pens and very clicky mechanisms. But I think this actually is probably more of a standout. I feel like this is, for me anyway, kind of the, the new signature pen. Although, of course, they're known for the bolt action pens. I feel like this is something that really sets tactile turn aside um, from the competition because there's tons of other great bolt action pens out there um, and even new different actuations that are kind of always being worked out worked on um, so for me this one is just it, it just shows you everything that you love uh, about this brand. It has of course that signature machining uh, which is really tight you can barely see a you know uh, a thread line where this actually unscrews because these are separate pieces some of you might have been watching this thinking this is a one piece it's actually two separate pieces if i unscrew right here you can see it comes that's where it comes apart and that's where you would change the uh the refill and then it's tightened down and you can barely see it unless you really know that it's there so yeah, I, I just dig this one. Uh, it is of course available in tons of different variations, uh, copper, bronze, um, which are also around the same price in terms of versus the uh, titanium uh, or the zirconium, which is going to be a bit more expensive at about $249. Um, in terms of comparable models, there are a lot of bolt action pens on the market, um, but are there very many side click action pens? There's tons of click uh, action pens. Uh, I would say a lot of them, though, are using kind of parts bin actions. Uh, that they're retrofitting into their pens versus this one being, you know, completely kind of in-house machined and milled and designed specifically for this application. So that's something if you're a big fan of, you know, uh, timepieces, wristwatches, you're going to be able to appreciate kind of that in-house holistic design approach like this definitely has a level of cohesion that you won't find in a pen that's just hey we're machining these um we you know we're making the barrel look cool and then you know the uh, the, the actuation or the click mechanism is going to be more so of kind of an afterthought or based off of availability versus here this is designed to work within this silhouette and it really does like i I really enjoy this. <laughs> so for me, guys, the bottom line is, again, this has everything you loved in a more refined package. Now uh, makes it more pocketable, more versatile. Um, and this side click me mechanism is uh, very unique. And I feel like it's kind of their new signature actuation, um, you know, versus the standard bolt action, which is still great. Um, but yeah, when I think tactile turn and I recommend a tactile turn pen, I'm probably going to be recommending this slim side click for now on. So, um, this is the pen to have if you're going to have one from the brand. Uh, and if you want to get it in some crazy layout with, you know, Timascus or, um, accents or, you know, get things anodized that you know all those options are there for you and to include mixing it up in terms of the barrel um, you know whether it be a different material a different metal uh, this is just an awesome pen and I'm really happy to share it with you guys so let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, you know if you like pen stuff I don't do tons of pen uh, videos but out of all of them I'd probably uh, a lot of them end up being tactile turn pens because they're just they're really good and uh, especially as somebody who's a watch lover I can just appreciate those types of things also you know a, a knife collector um, tactile turn actually uh, even has a knife division called tactile knife company um, and I did a recent review of their rock wall a special um, edition of that one uh, with a magna cut blade and uh, a special grip that's a knife center exclusive so check the channel history for that one if you're interested um, or if you want to see kind of the evolution of this pen you can also check the channel history for that so with that said let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the video please do it like and if you haven't already please do subscribe for more content just like this thanks guys mm -hmm.